Hello, Imaginers. It's Kyla coaching you to the life and career that you imagined. Living the life I imagined again today. We are in gorgeous angel fire for the week. And I did a little sleuthing about the history of angel fire. And I was curious about the the difference between such such a dramatic name angel fire and that opposable truth and today I want to talk about opposable truths because opposable truths can be opposable and still be true our brains don't like that in the coaching world we call that cognitive dissonance which means that two things can be simultaneously true oftentimes it is a conflict with our belief systems that causes the opposable beliefs or thoughts or experiences to be confusing to our brains but we can do some work on our brains hack our brains and ensure that opposable truths can remain both true and it's a very powerful skill it's often what helps us move from the life we have the career we have to the one that we imagined and oftentimes we are stuck in the life or career that we are in that we don't want because of opposable truths or cognitive dissonance so let me give you a little background on angel fire first so the nomadic people were some of the first to inhabit angel fire and at the time legend goes that there was light on the mountains that they saw and they thought it looked like fire then some years later some franciscan friars came through and they dubbed this area an angelic location and over time those two combine to make the term angel fire. So how can fire and angels be true simultaneously? And again, this is confusing to our brain with a lot of opposable areas. The one that I was thinking about this week is the opposition of productivity and peace. So many of my clients have been incredibly successful in their corporate career or in their own business, but they seek peace in their life. They want to continue to be successful, but they also want to have a peace in their life. And I can tell you that both of those can be true at the same time. Again, our brains don't like this. It feels like there's a conflict between the two. But the example I love to give is Oftentimes, we come up with our most brilliant ideas when we are at rest. So for me, it is, got some nature today. <laughs> it, it is oftentimes on a quiet walk. It's oftentimes when I'm in meditation, maybe driving in the car, maybe taking a shower, washing dishes, something that is habitual that doesn't require my brain to actively think and use my cognitive abilities. So if our greatest ideas often come when we're allowing our mind to be at rest, what if we created more time for our brains to be at rest so that we could create those magical ideas, new belief systems, expand our cognitive abilities, use more of our higher brain on a regular basis because as i often talk about that is where all of our long-term best interests live so we need to spend more time there but we have to be intentional about spending more time there and we unfortunately live in a society particularly in our country in america where productivity even kind of toxic productivity is admired it's affirmed it's valued and again, if we know that our best ideas and the greatest forward motion comes when we are at rest, then what if we spent more time at rest? And what if we gave ourselves a check mark for being at rest? This is often a exercise that I give my coaching clients 
that they have to spend some time at rest and they get to give themselves a check mark. <laughs> because if you're like me, you love getting the check mark, you love checking things off your list. But what if we check things off of our list that happened when we were at rest? Our bodies need rest. And again, most of the time in our society, we don't give it enough. So this week, I hope that you will take some time to be at rest. And again, I encourage you to give yourself a check mark for doing that. Tell me what comes up. Let me know what amazing ideas come to you, what revelations, what epiphanies, because oftentimes those come when we are at rest, and yet that is a form of productivity too. Those two things can be simultaneously true, just like angels and fire existing together. You know that I'm cheering you on to the life and career that you imagined. Go have a restful week. Take care, everyone.